Hello everyone, this is our 2006 Porsche Cayman S with 55,664 miles. Beautiful red with the silver wheels. Such a great combination for really any Porsche. Hard to make that look bad. Front end is in fantastic condition. It does have paint protection film just starting above the headlight and down through the front bumper area. So all of that is covered the area with pesky rock chips and that's most vulnerable to wear. It does have just a few imperfections, a couple small marks kind of just throughout it. But I am confident that if you were to replace the PPF on the front, the paint underneath it would be flawless. The front end looks awesome. Front driver's side fender. Looks really good, just one tiny little nick just above the PPF area. I do apologize if it's windy. This Oklahoma wind does not stop. Front driver's side wheel looks really good and does have just one chip there. Not a big deal in my opinion. Driver's side mirror, two very small chips towards the left, but overall very good shape. I would say about 90% of mirrors are dramatically worse than that. Uh, driver door looks awesome. Not seeing any scratches, scuffs, dents, Nothing like that. Driver's side rear quarter panel looks really clean. No issues there. Rear driver's side wheel. The spoke pattern on this car just looks right. Love the way that looks. Uh, moving around to the back. Center exit exhaust. No marks on the back bumper anywhere. Phenomenal condition. This car has definitely been taken very good care of throughout its life. To have over 55,000 miles and not have any kind of substantial wear on the exterior is impressive to say the least. Passenger side rear quarter panel. No scratches, scuffs, dents, or anything. Rear passenger wheel. No flaws. Passenger door. No issues there. Passenger mirror. No flaws, no marks anywhere on there. And the front passenger fender and fuel door area. Uh, shadow in the way there. Uh, really small scuff right there, kind of darker in color. Might buff out. And the front passenger wheel got a chip there. But other than that, it looks great. This car is in fantastic condition. I'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we like to do this comprehensive walk around videos to give our out-of-state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from a site unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis if you were to own the vehicle yourself. It helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones, helping to give you a more accurate representation of the overall condition of the vehicle. In my opinion, super clean Cayman S, aside from the year and mileage, factoring that in, it's even more impressive. This car has very, very few flaws and I think is just absolutely begging to be enjoyed. These cars are so much fun. Tan leather interior, love that. One of my personal favorite interior options. One touch windows, both sides, power mirrors, power adjustable seats. You got the perforated leather tan seats here. It is Tiptronic, not a manual. It has ice cold air conditioning. It will freeze you out. Starts right up. No warnings, no issues on the gauge cluster. Car is happy. Got radio, CD, climate control there. Traction control on the right. Because it is a 2006 Cayman S, the interior is very simple, which can be, in my opinion, perceived as a good thing. It's more of a driver oriented car. I kind of noticed that in Ferraris that the interior is very minimalistic and that's to draw the focus on the actual driving experience of the car, not to get distracted by touch screens and all kinds of, you know, massaging seats, frivolous things like that. This is so you can focus on the actual driving experience 
and pushing this car like it was meant to be. But there's no wear on the steering wheel really. Uh, Tiptronic button on the left is a little bit wonky um, just as far as the coating is kind of starting to give up on the button. But the steering wheel as a whole looks fantastic. Um, the buttons for the most part are pretty much flawless. The temp and fan button look like they have a little bit of wear but it's not anything serious. I mean you gotta look really really close to it. All the other buttons are in great shape. The window switches look perfect. Headlight perfect. Signals, gauge cluster, uh, cycle button, you know, all of that is in outstanding condition. There's no substantial wear. Anywhere in the interior, door panels are perfect. Driver and passenger seats look great, including the side bolsters, which is typically like the first thing to have issues. Um, the car's been really well taken care of. I mean, I'm not really sure what else to say other than that. The interior looks really nice. Uh, even the door sill here, it doesn't really have a lot. There's just a little bit of marking around the trim here, a little bit of scuffing. But like I said, given the year and the mileage, it's really not bad at all. I've seen newer cars with half the miles that have not been treated half as nice. So I would definitely consider this Cayman to be a gem. And the cool thing about these is that these are mid-engine, not rear engine. So instead of having a, an engine compartment back here, where you see you know everything, service ports, etc., you actually have a good amount of uh, luggage space, cargo space back here. Uh, which makes it a really great touring car. You know, if you want a sports car that you can go on long trips with, things like that, you can definitely pack a lot more in here because not only do you have the back cargo area, but you do have the front as well, which is cool. That actually gives you um, a very substantial amount of cargo space. And that is awesome. Ignore my little detailing bottle there. Make sure the cars look extra nice for you guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, in here, carpeting, everything looks great. Everything is, all the panels are on there, nothing's missing. This is such an incredibly fun little car. Every, I, I say this for all my Porsche videos, every Porsche has a very unique handling characteristic that's very specific to the brand. So if you haven't driven a Porsche, if you want to compare it to a Miata, a Corvette, what have you, just don't. It's very, very different. They all, you know, even if they don't make a lot of power, even if it's not the flagship model, they all have a very unique feel that is specific to Porsche. So I urge you go out and test one, see if it's for you. This is a lot of car for the money. There are tons of fun and even make great daily drivers if uh, it fits your criteria. These are just great cars that are meant to be enjoyed and are very reliable. So that is our 2006 Porsche Cayman S. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this car on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.